Hello and welcome to the North Manchester STEM Sharing Network YouTube channel. This is the very first video. If you don't own me, my name is Charlotte. I'm a primary teacher, I'm a science lead, a PSQM outreach award holder, network leader, ASC member and Northwest representative and future science communicator, maths graduate, pandemic vulnerable group member, engineering infrastructure and logistics fan and the latest lucky person to be trialling the Lego Education Spike Prime set. Are we ready? Let's go. All right, it's time to start this unboxing and have a look what I've been sent from Creative Hut. Ooh, this is good. Catalog things. Look at that later. It's like a mid spring Christmas. Ooh. Let's just check there's nothing else in the world. Oh, yep, little things falling out of it. This looks like the duck activity. If you've ever been, excuse the sound, if you've ever been to one of my teach meets when I invite Creative Hut, they give us something like this and there's a duck activity, which is fantastic. Right, so first impressions of the box. Um, excellent. Spike Prime, that looks really good. Oh wow, is that what we can make? That looks wicked. This box looks great because whatever's inside is clearly just gonna fit back in this when I've finished. And that I can store pretty much anywhere. That's gonna go on a shelf, on the top of a, a bookcase under my desk. You know, that fit on a child's desk, one between two easily. That, that could be stored outside. That's brilliant, I love that. Okay, let's get it open. All right, let's take a look inside. Okay, fantastic. So I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I do not know anything about this kit. Um, I just said yes to this wonderful opportunity and I didn't really look it up. So I'm really excited to find out what this is and how it feeds into the rest. I'm assuming some kind of programmable part, like a motor or something where we can have some sensors or something like that. And then we've got all of our content all of the different parts, the Lego people. Maybe the Lego people. Very cool hair. And this looks great. And then more details. Oh no, these are stickers. Oh, that's really cute. Stickers, so we can all be on the same page on how we store this. That's fantastic. Then we can keep track of what we've got, which is excellent when working in school and you're not gonna always keep track of who has what. Um, fabulous, some help sections there as well for when we get stuck. Oh wow, look at all of this. So, um, the main bit, I don't know what to call it yet. I don't know the bit that we saw, um, is going to plug in to a computer with the USB, uh, the micro USB. Um, cable there and just in terms of aesthetics beautiful colors I absolutely love these blues and purples they're really good um, so many different bits this is awesome that to me is some kind of mm, you know what I'm not gonna say because no idea is it a is right this look this could be like a sensor let's see what you that could be either a sensor or a light, something like that. It's got to do with light, it has to be. Um, those are like raw plugs, which just is exciting in itself. And then kind of connectory bits. Can see a bit of a person there, a little bit of a Lego person, another Lego person there. These scientists, they look very cool. More bricks of different sizes. Oh, my kind of jam. Wheels, cogs, gears, things like that. Hmm, yes please. Um, sorry, just tossed aside, that was a, um, clearly small print that kind of goes to show the impatience of my generation, doesn't it? Um, let's give it some air time, go on, let's see. It is, uh, the world's, all of the world's languages probably in one piece of paper telling me do not eat it, do not chuck it away, do not chuck it away, and what did I do with that bit of paper, bit of paper? Place it aside, how rude of me. Um, next part is 
something again I'm not too sure about, but that's very exciting. Um, more, please don't eat this piece of paper. Well, that's cool. Right, that looks like it's a motor or something that can um, rotate. Uh, I'm not too sure. Let's find out this. This could be something cool. Okay, what was in the box was this, which is a um, rechargeable battery pack and this kind of um, battery holder thing with uh, input or output there and some controls button. That is a Bluetooth symbol there, so that's quite exciting. I don't know if that means I link it to my Bluetooth devices like my phone or something and there's an app or maybe um, there are Bluetooth elements in this kit, which is which is awesome. Um, more things that we could attach to the thing I just uh, just unboxed. I tell you what, can't wait to actually learn about this stuff so I can stop calling it things and discrediting this wonderful equipment. Um, wheels look, possibly feel quite uh, grippy, rubbery and stuff. I'm feeling ramp test, speed test, stuff like that if we build little cars. Um, that looks like the world's most adorable boombox um so i'm assuming that it is a uh, speakers sound of some sort and my goodness we get so much don't we this is amazing all of these bricks and then just left in here as well we've got more parts and something to build on i'm assuming some kind of wow I'm so impressed with how much we get and I'm really intrigued as to what it is I've actually got. Like, I'm really sorry that I just can't go ahead and name these things like this yet. I think what my next video needs to be is me explaining all the parts. But at the moment, I'm hoping that you're getting from this video that I'm super excited. I'm very intrigued, very impressed very inspired and ready to learn and um, I can tell that there's going to be an incredible amount of things we can make and explore and do with this Lego kit just by looking and guessing what the components are and what they might do seeing the fact that we've got something that is um, battery powered we've got things that are probably moving parts like motors twisty things that could be a light or a light sensor of some kind Light focus, light or light sensor, something like that. Um, that could be a switch. That um, that could be a sound output, um, and all of it plugs into a USB there, which tells me that it's going to my computer. So that means, what am I getting data from any of these things? A bit like a data logger type thing, or am I using an app or using a website or something like that? I'm so excited. So the details on the box are um that it is for i'm assuming 10 plus means your age so whew, you're lucky that's good for me um i'm assuming as well actually 10 plus would be children on their own so i'm, I'm thinking that this within adult adult guidance as a teacher or a person um looking after children in any capacity probably we're all right just supervising younger than 10 10 plus must mean on their own 528 pieces well, I've got a lot to explain in my next video then haven't I um, this though <laughs> this I'm not too sure right what I'm going to do is I am going to unpack these things and I'm going to sort them out into lovely trays and get them labelled and things like that and I'm going to find out the names of things and um, do another video where I explain everything, but first impressions, super excited, very good, brilliant.